The Greg Norman Medal is presented each year to the Australian golfer who has had the best season. However, it's about more than just performance. It is also about recognizing an individual who has proudly represented Australia, who has shown true Aussie spirit, who has been determined and dedicated to their craft. Tonight's recipient personifies all these traits. Not only has he won twice on the PGA Tour, represented his country on the international team at the Presence Cup, and climbed the world rankings, he has also been a dedicated family man, has shown true determination under pressure, and above all else, grace when things haven't gone his way. I'm honored to announce Mark Leishman as the 2017 Greg Norman Medal winner. Mark is an incredible talent, but as a laid back Aussie, has often flown under the radar. However, this year, he's made the golfing world take notice. Congratulations, Mark, on an incredible season. Leishman in the fairway at seven. There have been 14 Eagles at this par four in Masters history. And Leishman has them at 15 today. Leishman. is on fire. And Mark Leishman with Arnie's new piece of trophy. Fantastic result. Just looking back uh, there, Mark, on the highlights, uh, was there one particular moment in 2017 that stuck out for you? Um, I mean, there was a few, really. Uh, you know, it had been close to five years since I'd won when, um, when I won at Bay Hill, you know, the first year after, after Arnold's passing. And... Um, that was probably probably the big moment, you know, have the family run out onto the green for the first time for, with a win, and um, you know, as a dad, that's really a, a, a bucket list item, and um, you know, to be able to do it there and then and then do it again, you know, a few months later, um, and really enjoy it more, I think, uh, at, the, at the BMW with that big lead. So, um, yeah, they're they're the two moments, but uh, and you know, on the golf course, and then obviously there was moments off the golf course as well. You know, we. We brought a little girl into the world this year, and um, it's that's you know the, that's the best thing in the world. So you'll uh, you got that to look forward to, Sergio. And Andrew, you know. Actually, uh, Mark's running the crash over the next few days, so just feel the <laughs> call in. Because uh, when you won the BMW, the w Leishman name was all, the, all in lights because your father had two nearest the pins in the midweek competition at Warrnambool. <laughs> So, I mean, you were dominating world golf. Normally he tells me that stuff, but I guess he, uh, <laughs> he forgot to mention that. No. <laughs> what does winning the Greg Norman medal mean to Mark Leishman? Yeah, it's a, um, it's a, a massive honour. Um, you know, to, I was thinking about if I won this, what I might say um, tonight, and I thought about all the things that, um, that Greg, you know, Greg Norman has has done for me and um, the motivation he's been and the inspiration and um, the more I thought about it like the he's he's a role model in so many ways like he handles victories with such um, class and probably even more than that you know when things don't go his way um, he you know he, he just handles that even better. He's a, he's a real, real role model. And, um, you know, when things aren't going my way on the golf course, um, for instance, at, at, you know, at Boston this year, I was leading by two going into the back nine and, and blew up virtually. And I thought to myself, well, you know, how would, how would I, if, if I was a kid, what would I want to see that guy do, being me? And um, I thought about it and it's like, you know, you want to react like, Greg Norman used to react if things didn't go his way, and that's um, 
you know, to, to, to have this around my neck is, you know, a huge honour and a, a, an award named in, in his honour is, is, uh, is massive, yeah. Absolutely. Go back a couple of years, um, Audrey was very unwell. Um, you weren't sure about where things were going to go and we come forward now to 2017. But those events, what did they do for Mark Leishman in terms of family and golf balance? Yeah, it's, um, you know, you go through something like that and, um, and we we're lucky that she, she did survive. Uh, it really teaches you stuff about, about yourself and um, makes you really grateful for, for what you've got. You know, you, you never know what's, what's going to happen. You know, she was completely healthy and then, you know, three days later, it's, you know, she's, you know, we got told she was, she was going to die. So, um, you know, your world can get tipped upside down really, really quickly. Um, and it really, it, it taught me just to, you know, to be grateful for what you got, live for today. And, um, you know, because you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. So that's, uh, that really taught me that. Um, and, it, you know, I'm, well, you know, all the golfers and guys who are in this room, we all play golf for, for a lit. well, you know, a lot of us play golf for a living and, and we're lucky to do that. And it, it's, you know, it, it's, it's not life or death, and that really, really taught me that, and just learnt to uh, just to enjoy it more, and um, you know, not taking any for granted. Exactly. On a lighter note, my friend, <laughs> Richmond won the premiership. <laughs> Apparently, you couldn't watch the game live because I think it was on at one thirty. You were playing golf that day. I said, "Were you in New York or something?" Was it New York? New yeah, York, President's yeah. Cup. Mm. So. How did you find out that your beloved Tiger... I can't believe you follow the Tigers. You're from Warnable. Jonathan Brown's from Warnable. <laughs> One of the greats of the game. Anyway, the Tigers are your team. When did you find out they'd won the Premiership after 36 years? Yeah, it was unbelievable. Um, the, I woke up just the... Because we, we had 36 holes in the President's Cup on Saturday and uh, woke up in the morning and it was, I think it was on the way to the golf course. So I sort of, you know, you get sidetracked and I... I just checked it on my phone and saw the score and couldn't believe it because you know you, the Tigers have been well. In, I've been you know I'm 34 years old. They haven't they weren't great for my childhood um, <laughs> to say the least. And uh, so to it was kind of a little bit of disbelief because I, I mean I haven't seen a game of football for probably 10 years. Um, so to to finally see that they'd won that was was huge and just you know. I, probably, I don't follow it as much as I, I used to, but you know, for all the supporters that, that stood by the Tigers and the, you know, through time, it's um, I'm just, you know, obviously happy that, that they won, but really, really happy for all the supporters that you know been there for thick and thin. The loudest roar I've ever heard in my life, <laughs> unless you were the Masters, Australian Open, British Open. Mate, a great night. I'm sure there's a few people just like to say thank you to. Yeah, there is. Um, you know, this this award, it's. Uh, like I say, it's a huge honour to win it, and I feel like it's it's a lot of people's award. It's not just mine. Um, you know, I've got Maddie's over there. Um, you know, he's with me all the time. Um, you know, like family. Um, you know, just the what we go through. It's you know, it's, it's as much yours as as it is um, as it is mine. Uh, Dennis, you know, you won the Coach of the Year. Um, We've been together for 17 years now. Um, you know, we've had great times. We've had a lot of fun. You know, there's been a few. Uh, you know, you have your ups and downs, but this is um, this is this is great. Uh, Neil Neil Smith. Um, we started working together in 2012. I was um, felt like I was playing really good, but the results weren't going my way, and um, you know we started working together and then and then things turned around so um, that was I feel like you know you surround yourself with with people that try and that that you feel like are going to make you a better person and I feel like I've been really lucky that everyone that's come into my life Dennis, Maddie, Neil um, you know great friends they've all made me a better person and um, and I feel like that's really important to um, to being successful as well. Uh, you know, success is not all about winning. You don't win very often in golf, but 
Um, I feel like it's more important with how you handle your wins, how you, you know, react to them, and, and, but more so, like I said before, how you handle your losses. And um, Greg Norman is such a, even more of a role model to me. Thinking about what I might say tonight if I won, um, it, I realised all the things that, that I look up to him for. Um, so, you know, everyone there, mum and dad, um, you know, supported me so much my whole life and really made me the person I am today. So thanks for, for being there for me and, you know, you gave up so much for me. Or so, you know, junior golf, driving to Melbourne every weekend, um, you know, paying for hotels, paying for fuel. It's, you know, at the time, you, you don't know if it's going to pay off, but we're just, you know, really lucky that... Um, I guess I've, I've played some good golf this year and it, it all came together this year. So, um, actually on Greg, Greg's Instagram a couple of weeks ago, I posted something and it said, success doesn't create happy, happiness, happiness creates success. And that's um, really true, I think, this year. Um, everything's really come together on and off the golf course. I'm the happiest I've ever been. Um, you know, I've got a great wife who's healthy now, two beautiful boys and, and now a little girl. So um, everything's great off the golf course, which makes on the stuff on the golf course so much easier. And uh, yeah, I just feel really, really lucky and um, just, yeah, really proud to have, to have won this medal. And um, congratulations to everyone else who who, who's here tonight? Um, you know, it's it's great what the Australian PGA does with you know recognising everyone in the golf industry. And um, I've got to say, I'm yeah, really really proud to um, to be the Greg Norman Medal winner this year. So thank you. My favourite part of the night, other than listening to Mark speak. French too, mate. French. French. Good to me. Sounds good to you. I thought it might. Ladies and gentlemen, can I ask you to be upstanding, to charge your glasses and join with me as I propose a toast to the Greg Norman medalist for 2017, Mark Leishman of Victoria, Australia. Well done, mate. Uh, I've got a thirst you could photograph. That is outstanding. Ladies and gentlemen, our Norm Smith, uh, Norm Smith, I'm giving, <laughs> giving in the Norm right. Smith, great Norman medalist. Sorry, Dusty. <laughs> By the size of him, he could have won a Norm Smith medal as well. Good on you, Alicia. Go and enjoy it with your family. Mark Leishman, ladies and gentlemen, the great Norman medalist for 2017.